So I want to ask you, why do you think your music is resonating with so many people on the streaming platforms specifically, and where are you going to take things next? What's the next level for you? Um, honestly, I think I just put a lot of time into promoting it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists will like shy away just because they don't want to. Um, or they don't feel it or they don't have like the like, capacity for it um, but I really lean into that I don't believe that it's like oh the song is like 80% of the way and the promotion is 20 I think it's really 50-50 it's about platform and stuff like that um, but yeah I just really want to you know put enough time into these songs to where like we can create a fan base and just do this you know for as long as I want to that's my thing is like next year I'm going to release another project and then after that we're just going to keep going and going just building this fan base do you have a, a dream collaboration uh, for 2022? Um, I don't really think about collaboration as much as I think about like friendships, you know what I'm saying? Like, with everyone that I've collaborated with so far, I'm actually like, I like, could text right now or call or FaceTime, you know? So I wouldn't really want to just like hop into a room with someone without being like, you know, friends with them, because that's how you make the best music, is, you know, being able to give honest feedback. Uh, to people um, and also I just want to build my brand I want people to be like oh, I need to get Ty Verde's on a song I don't want it to be like oh we need this so the, the radio can do no I can do it by myself you know that's how it goes right right yeah. and how would you say looking over the past year we're, we're heading into uh, 2022 but looking back what would you say is the biggest change that you've uh, experienced uh, uh, in, in, in your life since uh, since your your fame. Well, to be honest, I was living in a living room before with no fourth wall, and now I have my own like uh, apartment. So that's great. I think that's the biggest change. But yeah, other than that, it's kind of the same. Like I still do the same stuff. Like I still write. Like this whole thing um, is me going to the studio and like doing things that I love every day, which is like making ideas and creating these concepts, making the music videos, do all that stuff. It's my favorite thing to do. So I can't wait to keep doing it. And how are you managing the the business uh, side? Mm -hmm. Has, what's the, been the greatest challenge for you on the business side of, of the music industry? Um, honestly, it's kind of unfair because like that's what like that's another one of my strengths is that like I like I own all my music. Um, everything is like under my control. I feel like I'm like the CEO of my own company. That's what every artist is basically is their CEO of their own company and just hiring the right people, putting them in the right pr uh, places, um, and getting all the. Um, the money that you can too because you know what you got to get paid give make them pay you that's what they say that's what jay-z says make them give you a dollar <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly and what it's your uh, new year's resolution looking ahead um new year's resolutions i don't know i do yoga for the first month for 30 days it's great oh my gosh i cannot wait to yoga with adrian shout out yoga with adrian you guys killing it but other than that you should try it. it's really great for beginner yoga people, you can like really kind of touch your toes really easily. Okay, anyways, I'm just getting into it. <laughs>